For all of your cheap, fast and reliable gaming services, head over to DGZ Gold. The link will be down in the description and make sure to use code R8TD for a 5% discount. Enjoy. What's going on guys, it's Rated here and welcome back to the channel today. I've got you guys yet another video and this one is going to be by far the only glitch that you should be doing in Call of Duty Cold War Zombies right now. This is a great XP glitch, a weapon XP glitch as well. Not only that, but just a high round glitch in general. And it is also a god mode glitch and it's by far the best one that you could possibly do in the game. Just before we jump into it, if you guys drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you guys want to help each other out and do this with more than three players or four players if you guys want to, definitely all drop the gamer tags down below. Have two people set it up and just invite people from the comment section and just help each other out. It really does help me out as well. Um, I will be hosting some lobbies over on my Discord group. So if you're not already over there, go ahead and join it. It will be linked down in the description down below. All of the founders will also be down in the description below. And without the way, let's jump into it. So what I'd recommend doing first of all is of course you are going to need at least one player, which is the only downfall to this glitch. But in one of the early rounds, all you want to do is just prone next to a zombie and have that zombie down you. As you guys will see on screen right now, that is the first step to this glitch. It's just going to make your life so much easier when you are doing the bulk of the glitch. But as you can see, all you want to do is first go down and then just kill that zombie that downed you straight away. And then have your friend revive you. And you'll see exactly what this does here in just a second. What it's going to essentially do is when you go prone again, none of the zombies will be able to attack you. The reason this isn't really a god mode glitch is after the later rounds the zombies can eventually attack you but this is just used so we can get into the glitch a little bit easier from this location all you now want to go ahead and do with your friend is open up the doors to get to quick revive and also open up the doors to get to juggernaut you do not want to open the tunnels so just bear that in mind do not open the tunnels whatsoever just grab yourself quick revive and grab yourself juggernaut i'd also like to mention you guys are going to need the healing aura and at least five stim shots once you've successfully got those, head over to this location that has two zombies behind you. Prone exactly where I go and just keep on proning and standing over and over again and you'll be pushed underneath the map. From this location, you can pretty much just stay under here if you just want to go in god mode. But I'm going to be showing you guys a slight better way of doing this glitch. And pretty much an AFK XP glitch you guys can use if you have some type of macro or script. Head over to this location and follow where I go. Line yourself up like so and then just drop down onto this barrier. From here you can now see more of the map and what we're going to be doing is jumping under this barrier and making a run for it towards this location. Activate your healing aura so you don't take too much damage and if you are taking so much damage, activate one of your stim shots. Now make sure you guys have enough to purchase this door. This door is 1750 so make sure you guys have that amount of points before you jump into this glitch. From this, all you want to do now is just turn on the power and enable the pack punch but you want to enter through the anomaly that you activate the pack punch with. And this is where we're going to be doing the god mode glitch to this one. So from this location, all you now want to do is once you're in the dark ether, you want to head over to the wonder fears. If you guys don't know where that is, just follow where I go right here. And we're going to be purchasing tombstone on the wonder fears. Now, if both the players want to go get in god mode, just repeat it after each other. Just do it the exact same way for the other player once you do this. And if you guys want a full god mode tutorial, I will link it in the description below as well. But like I did say, you're going to need to purchase yourself Tombstone. And from this point, all you now want to go ahead and do is pretty much just go down. Once you go down, all you want to now do is wait for your health bar to completely go to zero or where you can't see it no more. And as you guys will see on screen now, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to enable God Mode in this map. This is so easy on 5AZ as well. And it's definitely possible apart from the part that you can't have a one spawn glitch on that map. So that's why I recommend doing it on Dime Machine instead. Now, if you guys do have any questions like I did mention, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. But as you can see, when my health bar is pretty much non-existent, all you now want to do is hold triangle to enter the tombstone shadow. And if done correctly, I'm going to slow this bit down, you'll get a white flash twice on your screen and that's when you know you've done the glitch correctly. From this point onwards, all you now want to do is have your friend simply kill the zombies and start a new round. Now, you're not in god mode just yet, just bear in mind that you still need you still do need to do a few more steps. From this point, what I recommend doing is finding yourself the anomaly yet again. And from here, going and activating the anomaly. This will open up some portals under the map that you guys can actually go into. Now, as you guys are going to see, there are some portals that you want to just go through. Teleport through it once. And as soon as you teleport through the other side, come straight back out of it. 
and as soon as you've done that you're pretty much now in god mode you are completely invincible to all of the zombies if your friend is going to also do the god mode glitch you need to grab yourself tombstone yet again or the game will end that's the mistake that many people are making so make sure once you're in god mode just simply just grab tombstone again just in case your friend wants to go in god mode as well but as you can see you can pretty much just run around the map like so do everything complete the easter eggs do whatever you want and you'll be completely invincible to all of the zombies your health will go to one and that is when you know you've done the glitch correctly like i did say your health will remain on one the zombies will hit you and they'll be attracted towards you so just bear that in mind you haven't failed the glitch if you're taking damage now what I like to do is like I did say combine this with the one spawn glitch which I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. Just head back over to the medical bay and then stand behind this area. Now because the tunnel doors are actually shut you're going to be in this glitch where all of the zombies spawn in one position. Now if you guys want to get multiple players in this location you can. If you have two people in god mode you can actually block the door and have the other two players without god mode stand right behind you and it makes it slightly easier. You guys can literally go for unlimited rounds using this glitch and all of the zombies will spawn out of that one location as you guys will be seeing later on in the video. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and if you do have any questions or need help with this glitch, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to help each other out and leave your gamer tags down below as well and try and make a lobby where you can go for unlimited rounds before Season 2 does start. As you guys, I'm sure, want to secure yourself the max rank here in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But other than that, hopefully you enjoyed it. Check out the previous videos at the end of this one and I'll catch you in the next one. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.